Our third scratch tutorial for this particular section is include something to eat, conditionals, variables, hiding, and sound. So our first step we need to take is to create the food for our purple guy or purple eater to eat. So we are going to select a new sprite from the file and I am going to click import. I'm going to import a I don't want to have a fantasy one. We're going to go up one. There we go. Things. This guy is going to eat. Oh, we'll just do cheesy puffs. Alright, that is just fine. There's our cheesy puffs. I'm going to shrink it. Use our shrink tool again to make the cheesy puffs smaller than the purple guy. Or maybe not, they don't have to be smaller, I guess. It just seems to make sense. I'm going to call this food. And now we're set. We need to do a scores. And that'll work. Okay. So what we are going to do is we are going to click on variables. And we are going to, this is going to be for our food. Click on variables, we're going to click make a variable. And I'm going to do this called score. I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to do a forever if when green flag is clicked forever if and I'm going to do a vegetable there are variables vegetables sorry about that getting a little tired and I'm going to do a set the score to zero and I'm going to split the two between and then I'm going to go to a sensing I'm going to grab a touching I'm going to say if he's touching a purple eater he is going to variable he's going to change the score by one and then I need to add a show and a hide so under looks, I'm going to add a show, and I'm going to do that right before. And then I will do a hide. One of the great things about doing this with students is they're not used to reading directions. I know they try to avoid it, but this really forces them to think about what happens in what order, and if it doesn't work, then why? And they have to go back. So we're gonna see what happens here first of all he still bounces which is great and now in theory this should go away and the score changed to one it worked if we click the stop button now if we do the start oh he has to move off of it now if we click start the score is back to zero and he's ready to go perfect Okay, now we add a sound when the eater sprite touches the food that it's going to eat. So we should make sure that we're on the eater because that's who we need to write the script for. We're going to click our sounds tab. We're going to click import a sound. And it's certainly not human. Okay, click OK. No, that sounds terrible. Let's choose that. Okay, I'm going to click OK. And if I wanted to hear what that sounds like, I could play it. Oh, I don't want anything to do with the cat. I'm going to delete that. Okay, so I've tested it. Now I'm going to click on the Scripts tab. And I'm going to drag a purple sound here and I'm going to do a play sound and this says and wait but I'm just going to say play sound because I don't have a wait that must have been an old version when he was doing that so I'm just going to do a play sound and 
If I have to, I'll go back until done. I'm not sure what the difference would be. And there we go. So now, what happens if I press the flag? He didn't make a sound, I don't think. Let's try that again. Stop. Go. Forever if touching maze. Oh, I think I put that in the wrong part. I did. That needs to go in the maze part. So I'm going to delete that. Clip that one out. Okay, I'm going to change that and put that under the food. I'm going to say play sound. Put that after hide. Let's fix that. Sounds import. I think I misread a direction. Let's do that. Peculiar. That seems appropriate, doesn't it? There we go. Now let's see what happens. If I press the stop, press the start, go down. It played the sound. That's perfect. And then it stops. Alright, that worked. So I'm going to press this, I'm going to move my eater back off of the thing, and I'm going to press the start. Okay. Now, I'm satisfied with all my scripts. I need more of these. So I'm going to use the duplicator button. Here's the duplicator. I'm going to punch that out a couple times here. I'm going to click duplicate. And I know it has these guys in it. Notice it duplicated my script also, which is perfect. Food to food three and so on. When I'm finished I can click my save button here. Now if I click my do this, it plays it. I think I would choose a shorter sound if I were to do this again, but it works for now. Everything works. I could multiply my... Oh, come on little guy. You need to go back over here. Now they all come back. I can multiply these, lay them all around the whole thing, and I'm ready to go. I think I'm not going to add background music. That would just irritate me. But you'll see in the directions, the print directions, there's a version for, or some sort of directions for how to add background music. And that is how to finalize my project. I'm going to click Save, and my file's ready to go. So, um, if I wanted to, I could click a Share button, but I don't have to. And I can also then upload my file. I could do Save As. Right now, where do I want to put it? Save it in the documents. It's called my Eater. I could upload that file. Finally, it already exists. Do I want to overwrite it? Nah, that's all right. Um, Okay, well, fine. Get me out of there. I can then upload it to my, my Haiku site. Pe my students could download it, check it out. Pretty slick. So, I hope this helps, and good luck.